Okay, so the first example I want to uh, talk about is um, sed. So this is stream editor. Uh, we've seen this before with doing find and replace in the command line tutorial. So um, one thing we're going to do is we're going to um, take advantage of this these magic commands that we have where we can put a uh, entire block of text uh, as a bash command. So we can we can write percent percent bash and everything that's in this cell will be as if it's in the bash shell. So like in our terminal. So what we can do is we can we can use this echo command to um, put all of this text into a text file called test regex.txt and then because the, the notebook uh, understands that this is uh, that this is a, a bash command it will this one we don't need any um, we could put that percent sign here but we don't need to because it understands so this just shows the file that we just created and we can use this to um, for example use said so we can you said to, and the way that said works is you type said, a space, and then in quotes, uh, in this case we're doing substitute, so we're going to use an S, and then the thing that matches, and then what we're replacing it with, and then we say we want to do it globally, which means we won't just do it the first time we see it, we're going to do it every time. And then, then we put the file that we're going to operate on. So if we execute this command, all those uh, big C, little c's were converted to uh, empty space. So, that, so we've now erased that line effectively. Um, so similarly, we can we can't just we don't just have to remove something. We can we can replace it. So we can change big D little d with big Z little z, and that will give us uh, give us this. So we're, this was this is again our file that we're working on. Um, so in this case, um, we're matching. What's going on here? We are matching, this one isn't working because we've got these parentheses here, but if we uh, comment out the parentheses, what we're getting is um, anything followed by DD followed by triple X. So this one is actually, this isn't exactly doing what I want to show. So I'll, we'll, I'll fix that. Um, the, the point I wanted to make here though is that um, said by default uses kind of this like very simple regular expression syntax. If we want access to the full um, regular expression syntax that we've covered, we want to use said dash uh, capital E, and this will then um, give us a more powerful uh, treatment. So, for example, um, What's happening here is that we're saying I want to substitute uh, any character any number of times followed by capital D, little d, any number of times. Um, and I want to replace that with XXX. So this is actually going to match any line because we, we said it could match any number of times. Um, and so it's going to replace every line. Whereas this line is saying uh, we only want to match if capital D little d is found um, one or more times. We use a plus. And so that only replaces, if we go back to our starting line, only these first and last line has that capital D little d. So those are the only lines that will match. Um, we'll, see, we'll see some more examples. I think this will become more clear. Uh, when we start using the graphical text editor. So the next uh, example that I wanted to cover is another Unix example using grep. So we've seen this before also. This is the global search for regular expression and print the matching lines. So G-R-E-P. Um, and 
egrep or grep-e again gives us access to the more advanced Perl regular expression syntax that we've been using. So again, we see our, this, this file that we have. Um, and if we run egrep on the regular expression on this file, it's going to give us all the lines that match that regular expression. Um, another example that we can can see here is uh, is that um, we can use this this caret symbol. This matches the start of the line, so this is only going to match um, lines that begin with capital C little C. So even though this uh, first line has a capital C little C, only the uh, third line will match because that's the only one that starts with that. Um, similarly, if we wanted to use this um, quantity operator, we can say I want to match um, big C, little c. We're putting this in parentheses, not brackets, because we don't want to match big C or little c. We want to match them together, but that, that whole expression three times. So it's going to say only lines that have big C, little c three times are going to match. So we have here and here. And then um, finally we have here we're going to say uh, capital A through capital Z followed by lowercase to lower Z and, that, and whatever that is matching we're going to search for it three times. So or three, three or more, uh, yeah exactly three times. So, so in this case we have both C and D will match that expression, and so will these, these, uh, this C line here and this D line here. Both of them have a big letter followed by a little letter uh, three times. So I think the, the best way to, to get more of a familiarity with this is to, is to use um, a text editor. So um, let's, I'll do both um, and then we'll, we can, I'll switch so you can see both. So let's start with Adam. Um, if you are using a Mac um, and you have Adam or Sublime Text, go ahead and open it. Um, if you're using Windows or, or Linux, you have another kind of more advanced text editor like Adam or Sublime Text, go ahead and open that. Um, most of the more recent um, more recent text editors will have support for regular expressions. So I'm, what I'm going to do is open that file. If we go to our home and then the SIO 209 folder and lessons, and we sort by date modified, you see there's this test regex.txt file that we, we created. That should be in the file where your lesson 9 is. So we can double click on that, open that, and let's see if I can make this bigger here. So what we're going to do is, so we've got this text file, and you can see that um, Sublime Text is, or Adam is showing us the new line character, and it's showing us the line numbers, so we got a lot of information here. Um, and now I'm going to type uh, Command F, or I can go up here to find. And the key thing here is that um, you want this. So if I just type A A B B, it will highlight the part that I found, um, which is really handy. So right now, if I were to type Let's do capital A through capital Z. It doesn't find it. So I got to go down here and it says use regex. So I'm going to cl click on that and now it works. And I also, we can leave match case. Uh, let's, I'm not sure. I think with, with regex on, it's going to, uh, it should. Well, let's see what happens. 
Yeah, okay, so we want to match case also, because you can see when I match case now, it's only showing the capital letters. So this is a really handy way to see the regular expressions more in real time. You don't have to just like kind of imagine what's happening. So if I wanted to match um, uh, now I have a, a capital letter followed by a small letter or here I can change this to uh, a a why is it not okay so you can see where it's matching you can see let's say we only want to find uh, C, C at the beginning of a line, you can see it highlights there. It, know, it understands that that's matching the beginning of a line here. Um, if I wanted to match the beginning and the end of the line, it doesn't, it doesn't match because I need this CC, I need three of those if it's going to match. And now it finds it. So it understands that... Um, That, it, that I need to match both the front and the end, and it needs to be three long. So there's another thing we can do if we, um, this grouping operator allows us to do two things. So it allows us to uh, search, so I guess I'll just delete this. I can say I want to find uh, B, B uh, exactly twice. So it's going to match that time where I found B, big B, little b twice. Another thing we can do is, let's say we want to, we'll go back to this line or this expression CC. I'm going to type the parentheses uh, around the middle instance of it. And I'm going to replace that with, so now we can replace. So we can replace, I could just replace this with, you know, um, um, I could just write replaced, and if I replace, did the first instance and then the second instance, or I could say re replace all. Um, so that's fine. But let's say I wanted to do um, just replace part of the line. So if I go to D D. D, and then I'll, I'll replace the second two instances. So what, what's going to happen here is I'm going to replace this line, that this, this whole line matched, and so whatever I put in here is going to be the new line. But if I wanted to keep that second part, I can say, so replace this with um, okay, start and then percent one. That's going to say match the first thing in parentheses in this expression is going to be stored as uh, not percent dollar sign one, and then I can it'll store that and then I can reuse that in my replacement. So if I if I type that, it's going to replace uh, that first dd with this word. Uh, sorry, that first one's going to get replaced, but that second part is going to be kept, and then I can reuse that. So this gets to be really handy. So you can match a regular expression, and, and if you want to replace it, you can either replace the whole thing or you can keep part of it and reuse it. So for example, um, if I had um, my file.txt, um, I can say I want to <coughs> replace So this is going to match any characters um, followed by a .txt, and then I can replace replace this now. Um, uh, 
uh, like this. And by the way, the, the replace text doesn't need to have any, the only regular expressions it really ne needs to understand are these percent signs. Otherwise, it's just being replaced with whatever you want it to be. Um, so I can see what happens. So I was able to match the file name and then remove the extension and just get, so let's say you take as an input um, myfile.txt, but you want to do something and save the new file as myfile.csv. You don't want the .txt, you don't want your file to be .txt.csv, you want to take that file name as it is, chop off that last bit, and then save the file name. So this, this is a way you can do that. And you can do all this kind of stuff in, in Python and et cetera. But this is just uh, an example showing Adam. Any questions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So the yes, the question is, what's this backward slash here? So, yeah, set is a little complicated because it by default it uses a more primitive um, regular expression syntax. So it doesn't know that the parentheses has a special. The parentheses don't have the same meaning for that. So we have to say. Yeah, so, yeah, basically, um, in the Perl style syntax, if you type parentheses, it, it knows that you want to, you don't actually want to match the parentheses character. Yes. You want to say this is a group. In um, said, it doesn't do that automatically. Mm -hmm. If you want to use the parent, it, it'll just say the parentheses and try to match the parentheses. Mm -hmm. If you want to, uh, if you want to have the parentheses have a special meaning, mm -hmm. you need to escape it. Okay. Yeah. So that's why if I put backward slash in Adam file, it won't work. Correct, correct. So if we wanted to do, um, mm -hmm. if we wanted to find that string, if we type ABC, you see how it's only highlighting that part? Because it's thinking this is a group. If I want to actually match those parentheses, I have to put the backslash. And now it will know. So I, yeah, I'm probably, when I cover this again, I'm, I might just take out the part about said because it's just kind of, it adds some confusion. Uh, this is hard, this is hard enough um, without without having to keep track of multiple different syntaxes. But by default, said and grep don't know that parentheses are a group. So you have to, if you want them to be used as a grouping symbol, you have to escape them. Um, in general, like, if it doesn't work one way, try, you know, try the other way. But yeah, it, the, the, the workaround is that you can use said-e or grep-e, and then it will understand those. Okay.